Hey folks, Roller Martin here. Today's fishing destination is central Minnesota. And I'm in one of the area lakes around Park Rapids, Minnesota. This is about a 2,000 acre lake. And we're at the north end. And here there's lily pads and there's reeds. And there's a few boat docks over here. And out in the main lake there's rock piles and steeper shorelines and all sorts of stuff. So, you know, being a strange new lake, how do you read a strange new lake? Well, basically, I'm a power fisherman. I like to fish heavy tackle like this big flipping stick, 65 pound braid, and this big spro frog. How many big nice bass have I caught on that spro frog? That's that 65 series spro frog. Well, I've caught a lot of big fish on it. And here in Minnesota, it's a great pattern as well because bass are the same great game fish from Connecticut, Connecticut to California. Hey, you find a good frog pattern, it works all over the country. In fact, Dean Rojas, the guy that put me on the, this Pro Spro 65, took me to Clear Lake in California and taught me a few tricks about uh, how to fish the frog. Okay, with that, I'm gonna do another thing. I'm gonna do the backup system. Now there's two backup rods and reels I have. One backup that's perfect, that really works 99% of the time. This is a 30 pound braid, a little heavy, a little heavy. 30 pound braid, a nice big hook, no weight, and a Cinco, a 297 Green Pumpkin 5 inch Cinco, the perfect backup solution. Now, whenever I get a frog bite and they miss it, and they do miss it about half the time, you'll see them swirl, you'll see them moving into lily pads, you'll see all sorts of different things. That's the time for the backup Cinco. So, I'm gonna put it right here, right there. Okay, now I'm gonna pick up my frog rod and I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about. I'm all power pole down, little point of reeds right here. There's lily pads. So I'm just gonna throw, stay straight ahead right here, okay? I'm just gonna come, kinda, kinda walk it kinda fast. See, I, I'm, trying to, I'm trying to get them to show themselves. I, I don't know that I'm gonna get them to take it, but sometimes you just get them to move the pads and then you throw the Cinco in. But they'll bust it too and they'll eat it. And so there's, there's big fish and there's, you know, people don't realize that here in Minnesota, there's four and five and six pound bass and a lot of them, good ones. It's, it's late August, it's uh, been cool. The water temperature is about 72 degrees. It's just a real good temperature for, uh, for bass right now. The water and, and all, the water depth is, looks all weedy here, but look at this. Look at this. Look, look, look. look, look. That's seven or eight feet deep right now in the grass. I mean, so it's like plenty of grass, plenty of depth. And there's all sorts of hydrilla and reeds and all sorts of neat, neat kind of grass on the bottom. Okay. Come on. I don't think there's another state with anywhere near the amount of bass and bass lakes. You know, this lake is not known for its bass fishing. It's known for its walleye and its pike and all and all that stuff. People don't they bass fish it some, but that's not the primary seek the fish that they seek. I missed him. Back up time. And watch this. Back up time. Okay, now watch this. I just missed one. He supped at it. Watch this. Watch this cat. Watch this cat. Okay, watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Right there. Baby, look. I got him. 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 Oh. Had him. Well, anyway, I had them on. <laughs> I don't get them all. I lost that one. But he, he was on. He was a nice big one, too. Woo! There you go, back up Cinco. Back up Cinco. He, he grabbed it right away. I'm going to turn this Cinco around. Now, when you miss them like that, they won't bite again. Not really. I'm not going to. I'm going to go for another one. I, I probably need to tighten my drag up a little bit. 
I don't think I had enough enough power on them. Yeah, need to have more power, no, more drag. Yeah, that was a good one. But see, all I saw was a little bit of movement. He never really got the frog. All he did was kind of swirl at it. Big fish, big fish, big fish. I got a good one. I got a good one. I don't know how big it is. It's a big bass. Look at that size. That's a big bass. That's a big bass, son. That's a big five. Oh, he got off. It's a big five pound bass. It was a gigantic bass. It was a gigantic bass. It's the biggest bass I've seen all week. Hit my frog, blew up on it, son. And I lost him. And I don't know how I lost him. He was just gigantic bass. A gigantic bass. Oh. Oh, man. Ooh. That was a really big one. Golly, day. I, I haven't hit a bass like that to hit the frog in a long time. He hit out in open water, though. He must have followed it out from the, from the weed line. I don't know. It's really a big one. Whew. What a fish. What a bass. That was really nice. Oh, I hit it back there. Okay, I just had a I just had a strike on a fish back there. On the fish I sink it. This is a backup deal. Back up sinking. Throw it. He's got it. Somehow we got them. Come on out of there. I got them, son. I got them. Come on out. Uh, yeah. I got them. Halfway out. Don't have them all the way out. I got them out some way. See how big he is. I don't know what it is. It's a fish of some sort. He hit that frog. And I backed it up with the yeah, S. Nice bass. Oh, yeah, nice one. It's not as big as that other one. It's just a nice bass. It's a nice quality bass. It's a real nice one. Nice quality bass. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful bass. On the backup Senko. So what a deal. Woo! Nice fish, too. Now that was so cool having the backup deal. The backup deal was so important to have. I wouldn't have caught that fish. He he swirled and hit at it with the with the frog, and then I backed it up with the senko. He got it. Woo, son. Oh yeah, look at this guy. Look at this guy. Big old frog fish. Big old frog fish. Yes, sir. Look at this guy. Oh yeah. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. I'm telling you, that frog fish. It's two o'clock in the afternoon. Big old three or four pounder. <laughs> it's it's amazing. Beautiful, beautiful fish. I tell you, Minnesota has some of the finest bass fishing in the world, and it's so much fun because these lakes are clear. They're full of good cover. They're just it's just a super deal for for a, a, a bass fisherman like myself who likes to power fish, who likes to fish frogs, who likes to flip. Reeds who likes to fish stock. I mean this these lakes and there's just not one of them There's 200 of them within within just 20 miles of Park City 
or Park Rapids. And it's just, it's just all over the place. There's just so many good fish. Just wonderful. Wonderful. Wonderful bass fishing. Boy, that's a good looking spot here. Lily pads and reeds. careful because he came out a long ways after it you know after he hit he kind of swore at it first the frog and then I threw the worm in and then he kind of he kind of kept moving towards me so he that if, if they keep moving at you sometimes they get real close to the boat that's one of the problems but he I saw him actually that last time he moved towards me and I made a short cast and that's when he got it cool that's what the backup sink was all about. Throwing in on those frog fish like that. He didn't hit it very good on the frog. He was just not even taking it hardly on the frog. And so uh, I backed it up with that big old worm, that little old Cinco, really. 30 pound test braid, no weight. There. Okay, I want to show you something. Oh, watch this. Oh, my heaven. Oh, my heaven. This good big old guy. Big old fish, son. Look at this guy. Woo. Woo. Big old, big old four or five pounder. Look at that guy. That's what we're talking about. That's what we're talking about. That is that's the kind of fish it is. That is the kind of fish we're after, son. Big old, big old four and five pound bass. Here in the summer bass capital of the world, Minnesota. We're around the Park Rapids area, catching beautiful quality bass. I'm gonna have a four. I'm gonna have a 20 pound stringer. These bass are averaging four pounds or better. I mean, these are really good fish. Wow, they're just as gorgeous, gorgeous fish. And it hit just on cue. He hit the frog twice, and I didn't get him. And then I threw in with the cinco. Game over. Okay, son. Let's drop back. 